Hi guys, this is Sakoptis. Okay, this video for finished project that who doesn't have time to watch the whole processing video, I have like um, ten videos, I believe. Yep. So this is my square gazebo. Okay, guys. So this is gonna be only part of the outer stuff. I'm not gonna do album yet guys okay so the first my first video that if you guys haven't watched is I actually got which paper collection you guys want me to use and people 10 people wrote it on dye shop so that's why I went on dye shop so let me see okay first I'm gonna tell you <laughs> we can see did window side upside down guy okay? I did not realize and I decided to use E6000 and it dries so so fast not I you know you I usually use this glue and dry very really slow you know if I use this I I would be able to uh, take it apart and turn it around but it's it's what too late because <laughs> so it dry so fast anyway so that's it so you guys know that I'm not sure you guys pay attention to this if I do not tell you guys if you not watch my video on part 3 that when the part that I have to glue this part there okay so what I did um, I paint this in toasted vanilla yep from Fort Art yep this color so I paint at first I paint this in white foot inside and around the edges and then I after my sappy watches on dye shop so let me show you guys what the dye shop look like the paper if you guys have to watch my first video okay the paper that I use so if I do uh, my mini album this is going to be paper to you to make mini album on this side that what is for that I didn't make did not make any window one of my sappy suggested that make the binder and like a uh, draw pole so if you didn't know that you know that mini album when pull it outside you be um no better that my tongue twist pull out it be a mini album so that is a good idea i think i might go for it but i'm gonna take a break from this project because it's kind of really long projects for me so um so that so that i see the paper that I cut to cover the bottom and on the side see right there okay, you can see so oh this one when I paint when I paint this with white and then with this uh, toasted vanilla and then I crackle I'm not sure you can see I did you different uh, same color did not I did not use when you do crackle if you use uh, two color it will give you different look okay but you might not see it but I can see from here that it crackle so let me see if I can show you guys which one it crackle I don't think you guys can see um you remember if my carousel that I ultra photo display that it's a give different look you can tell the crackle but this one is kind of same color the crack I used crackle action and then I use the same color of the paint which get that crackle effects right there so then I was you know put the window upside I was so panicked I did not know what to do to um but all my sub so support is some me idea and I grab my mini fence uh, gate here so this is my gate number one mini gate so I use that I paint this in white first and then I paint this with uh, Frenchy vanilla I believe something like that I think so after it dry and then I stamp on it the stamp that I use so I did do the same thing with this with the lamp post the corner there so I painted it in white and then I used uh, what color is I'm not sure it is this color salt glass color or not guys you know when you do so many colors of project you 
don't really remember but anyway one of those acrylic pen so after the pen dry and I stamp on it so I use my this stamp I believe Linda gave it to me I use my Kaiwo ink the black Kaiwo ink is stamp in there this will give you can tell the script on there but on the gate you can't really tell guys because it's the gate is so tiny gate there didn't have a lot of enough space but this way you can see the script there and here and here Anyway, and then this fence is number three. It's like this um, big fence. I'm not sure you can see in there. I did cut it, trim it, so this one is lap over, right? So if you connect it, so I did cut and I painted it in white foot and then Frenchie when he like to give that color. I did not stamp it, I did leave it plain. I like this color, guys. It looks so pretty. And I used my lace from st uh, stash there two along that one so I actually have this all around my gazebo gaze and I need my sentiment time list there and this, this my sentiment journal uh, journey there and this fairy this is from paper graphic 45 that one of on the springtime that I cut her out but this one is from internet guy I cut her out there so I put her there and she's right there did Prima spray though I it actually really long spray and then I cut three parts so I cut this one I cut and then the one left over this one so we put that one right there see and this is my, my bike I paint this in white and then French Frenchy vanilla for our paint see and then Michael flower Michael flower this is Michael for my stash okay let me turn around this way. So this is this I do the same technique with uh, my gaze and the lamp post, uh, corner lamp post. I paint it in white and then with the blue color. I'm not sure this is the blue color. Maybe you see from blue there. After the pen dry and then I stamp with this uh, stamp script. And this is my number set 2014. I figure this gonna be this year. Um, scene or mini album I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet but I did paint this this with I believe might be this not sure it might be this color guys skin tone I'm not really sure I'm sorry guys yes <laughs> because you do so many <coughs> painting and you not remember everything guys so I painted this and then I used my um uh, nail files to on around edge to get this just look there okay this one I are here on that that window there guys and I have that fence there it like this fence the whole side and I stick out for the, a little bit not close to the the window there and this mini um, birdcage I have left over from that project I paint I didn't use, did not use it I repaint this and with a uh, uh, French vanilla and then I stamp on the same script stem and I have my skeleton leaves there the tree and I add some flower and this fairies from these two from graphic 45 one on the springtime and my fence there and my bite and this her is from internet fairy there. It's the same with this one guys. That I just cut her out. <coughs> okay, you can see that I have my bunny there. See bunny family from graphic 45 one on springtime that I cut them out. And this piece here um, dollar store guys so I use that. Um, if you turn on this side, you can see the fairy story there from Graphic 45, right? Get better, you know. And I make my own eggs. And you can see it's the egg right there. I'm not sure you can tell. Here we go. See, and I have the corner to corner flower spray there from Prima. I think pretty much that it, guy. It took me a little while to finish this. Isn't that pretty? I did not do a lot on the roof underneath there, guys. Nope, 
I did leave it like that. I think pretty good, guys. As far I can, I can, uh, as far I can tell, I actually love it how it's turned out, guys. Okay, that's it, guys. I'm not sure what's next project. I'm kind of busy and time to do some test cutting my new product. All right, guys. Thank you, everyone, for keep watching and for you guys' support. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye, guys.